Hi, I'm Jordan Swidd with The Foundry, and I'm here at the AMD Fire Pro booth on, uh, at IBC 2014. And what I want to do is have a quick little chat with you about what's coming up with Nuke 9 and the impending release of Nuke Studio. So what we're looking at is a splash screen in Nuke Studio, but uh, let's actually sort of go through what's quickly different about that Nuke Studio from Nuke. So Nuke Studio is a combination of Nuke X and our product Hero. So it's editorial, it's conform, it's compositing, and transcoding, everything all rolled up into one. So just to give you an idea, let's quickly look at things like, in fact, we have AAF support. I'm going to bring in an EDL, which would work the same way if you had an AAF. OK, so we got a timeline. This has been a big request of uh, our users. They wanted to be able to deal with Nuke on a timeline, uh, be able to see things in context. It was something that uh, we had with Hero, but it wasn't the same kind of workflow. So let's quickly match the media against some footage. So we know that it's all going to line up. Okay, we got 10 shots. So that's pretty cool that you can actually work with all this in context. Well, let's take a look at the fact that we've also got some GPU accelerated timeline tools. So we can do things like put in a grade node and actually come in and color correct. We can slide these around the timeline. They can be duplicated. They can be cloned. They're all GPU accelerated. They're guaranteed to give you a real-time playback. Targeting 4K playback out of Nuke Studio as well, across uh, 4K SDI. So, what can you do beyond whoop, the GPU accelerated tools is you can piggyback on some of the work that was done with Hero. So, you can actually make directory structures and rename shots. So, quickly, just going to rename these shots. All right, so we got nice shot names. Let's do what Nuke Studio is going to do best. Let's actually make a comp for this using this kind of template structure. What I'm going to do is actually just use this version of it. I'm going to tell it to go and make where it's going to put all that stuff. And then voila. To get into this shot, all I have to do is double click on the, the timeline. So that's a big deal. If I actually save this, I can come back. It renders automatically. So there it is, very quick. But I can get back in there and actually be right back in here very quickly. What is else is new in Nuke 9 is that we've changed some of the, the GPU tools. We've actually added these ones. So these new GPU tools are here. And what we've actually got now is that we have our vector generator, our motion blur tools, our, a new version of our Kronos, and the denoise that are all now supporting OpenCL on the AMD hardware inside the Mac Pro. And they're super fast, very nice. We've moved denoise down from, Nuke Studio, from NukeX into Nuke. So those of you who are Nuke customers will have access to the, the GPU XR denoise as well. Okay, so that's pretty much sums up uh, what I can tell you in about two minutes with Nuke Studio. You got timelines, you've got a whole pipeline tool, you can wrap it up, you can be working like you can with a flame, you can work like you can with After Effects, and you can work with a whole team.